Our idea for a retail store is Garms Dealer. The goal of Garms Dealer is to sell a selection of quality designer clothes at an affordable price. Our core values are sustainability, this is through by reusing clothing, fair service by buying clothing off our customers at a fair price and then selling clothing at an affordable price and we create value by offering quality clothing. Our shop will be located in St James's Street, Nottingham. Uh, this is a very student focused area with a lot of student focused bars and restaurants which means that our target market of students is already attracted to this area. Um, the student market is a good market to target just to the sheer number of students in Nottingham due to both the universities and our products will be aimed at both males and females. Students are particularly brand and image sensitive which means they might spend a bit more money on clothes than the average person and also there's a lot of more affluent students at university and University of Nottingham especially. Um, here's the way we segmented our market. We've got geographic, demographic, behavioural and psychographic. Um, these will be covered in more detail by Becky later. Our USP is selling a selection of quality clothing at an affordable price. We came about this by, by looking at the characteristics of our target segment, which is students, which we found that students like designer clothes, however they can't afford to buy them brand new. So therefore, we came about this USP. And then comparing it to our competitors, such as 18 Montrose and Flannels, who sell high quality clothing at a high price, which students can't afford. And then compare it to a charity shop, who sell a bit, a bit more low quality, but at a low price, which isn't what students are really looking for. We positioned ourselves in the middle, which will hopefully attract our target segment. Marketers define a product as a bundle of benefits, this means it's more than just a sum of its physical characteristics. Therefore, we looked at Cotler's three levels of product and found that our product has core benefits such as quality clothing at an affordable price. Our main competitors are Depop, eBay, and Shabak. All of these have a wide variety of second hand designer clothes. Having a cheaper and more affordable price than our competitors would attract more customers. My research has shown me that the companies all have a small to large price range. An example of an item that all three businesses have is a Gucci hat. Depop sell it for £90, eBay and Shop both sell it for £100. Therefore, we would want to sell it for £80, so it would be £20 to £30 cheaper than our competitors. This will allow us to gain more profit and a competitive advantage. Our pricing strategy would depend on an item that has been bought, as each item will have a different selling price. Having a variable markup per item for the products will help us gain maximum, maximum profit and a good competitive advantage. Every item will be purchased at a different price as it will depend on the quality of the product. To gain profit, we will add a mark on the original price that has been purchased. Our clothes are sold via our physical store on St James Street and our website. New clothes will be added on a regular basis. Our logo is the first point of contact to our target market. It's the first thing that they've seen. Therefore, it's important that our logo stands out and it's eye-catching. So we've made the logo a bright red and paired this with black lettering. This makes it striking and places it clearly in the customer's minds, creating a really strong brand identity. The red colour also makes the customer perceive that they're having a red carpet treatment, which runs in line with our core values of having a fair service and value for money. We feel the logo is something that would appeal to fashion students and enthusiasts. Something else important about the logo is that it can be used across the business. One of the many channels that attracts the customer is, that the, we is the website. The logo can be seen here, surrounded by the strap line and designer fashion garments. It easily attracts customers through a simple Google search and provides information about our services. This is a really simple and effective way to promote our business. In order to effectively sell our garments to the target market, we will use segmentation, targeting and positioning. We've decided to segment the market based on demographics, psychographics, and geographics. 
Firstly, socio-economic segmentation targets students who are 18 to 24 and have a limited disposable income, but do come from upper class backgrounds. Psychographically, we will target people who tend to purchase designer clothing and also really want an ethical and aware awareness thing with their clothing. Geographically, we are in a city full of fashion students, which gives us a perfect opportunity to target the market effectively. In order to position ourselves, we have constructed this market map, which highlights the gap in the market by the red dot. We can therefore promote effectively to our target market by filling this gap. We're called the Go Arms Dealer, and our strap line is, we buy, we sell, you save. We believe this incorporates some of our most prominent values and aims. It refers to the purchasing and the selling of second-hand designer clothes in an effort to save the consumer money. Our promotion will be tailored to target our customer segment, and we will geographically target the busiest parts of Nottingham, as well as the student-focused areas and the two university campuses. As a start-up company, we, have, we don't have unlimited funds, and we need to try and spare as much money as possible, so we will use techniques which require the lowest amount of funds. We also aim to create stigma and talk around our advertisement to cement our place in the customer's mind. Some promotional plans for our shop include leaflet drops at the bottom of Dryden Street, as there's a high level of NTU students passing through there daily. We also plan leaflet drops at the four campuses for the University of Nottingham. Another area to consider would be the busy shopping streets in the centre of town. A publicity stunt that we have developed to get people talking would be dressing the lines of the market square in some of our signature garments. We will then encourage members of the public to have pictures taken with them and tweet it with the hashtag GarmsDealer, or they can tag us in their Instagram post. This gets people talking and spreads brand awareness quickly with no cost at all. This could be also be a small stunt which gains the attention of the local newspapers. We intend to use geographic location adverts on Instagram for anybody using their phones in the NG1 area. Instagram is used by fashionable young students uh, and, in, and studies indicate that 60% of users are aged between 18 and 24. We have a promotional mix in mind when creating these ideas. For example, we use direct marketing such as promotional emails once the people have visited the store and registered a membership card. And we tackled such things as public relations when designing that small publicity stunt with the lines in the market square. Staff play a significant part in the sale of our clothes. Through recruitment, we look for traits such as confidence and um, a knowledge of fashion in order to maximise sales in our stores. We have rewards given to our staff based on their overall performance each month. We have an employee of the month who gets a bonus, and for the whole staff base, the more clothes we sell means the more discount we get. Um, the staff do not wear uniform, but they wear stylish clothes similar to what we sell in the store. And with the decor, unlike our main competitors, flannels and 18 montrose, instead of having a minimalistic theme, we 